Hello and welcome back uh, in this series of Azure Beginners to Professional. And if let's continue it from the, my last video where I left on creation of this Azure sensor. If you have not watched that, you can take uh, my link from this description box and take out our, the, my last video. If you want to watch the entire series of Azure Beginners to Professional, you can watch and take a li uh, link from the description box also so let's continue and uh, we have uh, in the last video we have seen that we have created iot hub and iot hub um, device provisioning services now we have to configure uh, a couple of things like for the azure sensors so first thing i would suggest you can add uh, uh, download and install uh, softwares that is a visual studio code this is a small software that you can install it i will share the link for this download uh, visual studio code and windows version you can download and install at your machine so we can basically we are going to create a sensor which is based on a c sharp code it's a sample code i will uh, share the sample code for the uh, sensor also and uh, once uh, you can you want to test it out you can use that uh, sample code and uh, test uh, create a sensor at on premises so what we are going to do we are just going to execute a simulator that will generate some random temperatures like a random value as a temperature for our device and it will send it to cloud and we will see the same in the cloud it's getting matched or uh, not matched or it's getting received or not over there this is what we are going to do it so for that uh, you can install and download this uh, utility uh, at your machine apart from that uh, what else you need to do you have to add uh, two extensions uh, these are the Azure IoT and Azure, I, uh, sorry, one extension that is Azure IoT. You have to just add and update the same. Uh, it's an Azure CLI uh, extension, which I'm going to add it here. So let me just quickly open my PowerShell and uh, add it, these two. So I will add these two commands also. in my description box so you can take it from there and let me just quickly copy and paste it so a little bit easier for me it's already installed with at this moment if it is not you can update it no update is required because i have already installed and updated in the cloud shell you can just click on this at azure portal and right now no storage mounted so it's asking me to create a shell uh, storage here it will still take a few minutes to get it done i'm going to execute the same commands here also so we can make sure it should be as a bash here so now you can see it's uh, installing this module uh, because it uh, was not there on my bash shell or an azure cloud shell so it will install and let's me quickly update it also okay no update is because right now i've just installed so it's already taken a default and updated uh, structure here okay so uh, these are the basic uh, two uh, IoT commandlets groups which we uh, I have added here for Azure CLI and the PowerShell also I have added the same Now just go back and add the Azure IoT hub ID. So let me quickly go back at my home page and uh, in my IoT hub Okay in the IoT hub if i go in the iot devices and just try to figure out if it is anything is there so this is the iot device and here i need to add a new devices here so just click on new 
now you can see the various options and the device name etc it is asking so let me add sensor thermal sensor and the code is 001 here you can see it's asking for the symmetric key or self sign uh, certificate or a CA sign certificate what you want to take right now I am taking it as a symmetric key you can take it as per your requirement primary and the secondary key is disabled because I have taken an auto generated key option if I want to choose a manual I can add it manual keys here I'm taking it auto generated later on I will copy the same uh, device should be enabled to connect and no parent device I don't want to keep any device as a parent one if you have a device in the layer you can take it out a parent child relationship okay and then just click on save to get it done it will again take uh, one or two more minutes to get it complete okay now the device sensor is ready what else we need right now we have to collect the connection string so I'm just clicking on this sensor thermal sensor and let me quickly copy the primary key this is a key you must have to keep it at, uh, confidential okay let me just copy this here I have copied the primary key if I want I can also take it out the secondary key and copy it I do not require this but still I just taking it out and the most important thing the primary connection string so connection string is basically used to connect it once we uh, configure our sensor so primary connection string I am taking it here and just copying it so this one is most important thing that you have to use so let's I just uh, copy this now what I have to do I have to create a simulator uh, I have taken out uh, some codes but I need to build an application base first and then accordingly I can uh, build up a sensor and sensor and then sensor testing and let me just go back uh, with my studio code so this is my studio code and I have one directory available here there is a folder which is on C drive apps uh, dir so let me go on this directory and uh, configure the some sensor configuration right now I don't have uh, anything here if you can see nothing is there in the dir nothing is in directory first I need to provision a sample.net application so let me quickly show you how we can configure it just make directory and that is test device this is what going to I'm going to create an application okay and now we have to run a command that is dot net new console you must have a .NET available it's uh, okay dot net I run the command as to net so just update it okay it's asking to prepare an environment you must have an dot net uh, installed at your machine SDK so it will create a file that must be there okay that as device is created you can see object program dot CS and test device everything is in place now I need to run a command that I will add all these commands uh, in my um, description box also so you can take it from there after this I have to run commands to create and uh, Azure IoT structure so I will be continue in the next video you can take a link from the description box and continue it from there if you want to watch the entire series you can also watch it from the description box playlist link so let's connect in the next video and continue it on this